How's it going? This is Joshua with Growmax. And today I'm gonna to be doing an experiment with Carbon One versus a regular fertilizer 2020 and another fertilizer for blooming and rooting, a 958.8. So stick with me and I'll show you how I'm gonna do this experiment and what the results will be. So first thing is I've got these six clear planter boxes. Now the reason why I've got clear planter boxes is because this experiment is about growing roots and there's nothing better than carbon one for growing roots so I'm going to compare carbon one with other generic fertilizers so you can see into the soil and see the root structures and see how much better carbon one does at growing roots so I've gone ahead and drilled holes in these clear containers for drainage and I filled them up with pretty sandy soil because that's what I have here where I live and I filled them up with water and let it drain through so they're at 100% saturation. And then for this experiment here, I'm going to plant these three golden privets that I've grabbed from the nursery that were plugs that have rooted out. Okay, so we've planted these three privets and I've also added some wood shavings. So when I water these plants, it'll help displace the water so I don't get divots in the soil and also help the soil to not get too dry. So as you can see on these other three clear containers, I'm gonna do a test on sod. I've done the same thing on these as I've done with the others as I've drilled holes in the bottom for drainage and I filled it up with pretty sandy soil and water them in real good so that the soil is at 100% saturation. Then went ahead from the same piece of sod, cut three separate pieces to go ahead and plant in these containers. Now that these have been planted, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what treatments I'm gonna do on each one of these. On this side, I'm gonna use a generic fertilizer that's a 20-20-20. One on the middle, I'm gonna use another generic fertilizer that's specifically for rooting and blooming and it's a 958.8. And then on this side, I'm also going to use the 202020, but in tandem, I'm going to add carbon one to it. Now, for the saw, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use the 202020, the 958.8, and then the 202020 as well. But with that, I'm going to add the carbon one. We're going to see the results. All right, so I got 16 ounces of water and I put the recommended amount for the 2020 and kept eight ounces in here and then eight ounces in this bottle. So I'm gonna water each one of these plants with eight ounces of water with the recommended dosage for each treatment. And I'm gonna do basically a foliar slash soak on each one of these. So everything gets the same amount. Same on the grass. All right, now I mix 16 ounces total with the recommended dose for the bloom and root, the 958.8. I've got eight ounces for the sod and eight ounces for the privet.
for the sock. Now I've mixed 16 ounces of water with one ounce of carbon one, which is the recommended amount. Now I've added also the 20-20-20 to this, but I've only added half the amount that I put on the saw, this sod and this privet to carbon one, because when you add something to carbon one, it makes it highly available to the plant and it doesn't need the full dosage. So let's go ahead and treat the last one. Now I'd like to do a close-up of each one, especially the privets, because each one's a little bit different at starting out. So this one here that was treated with the 20-20-20 has a couple new ones that are going there. On the 958-8, it had this one that kind of shot up previous. It has a couple other new ones through here that are new buds coming up now this one that was treated with the carbon one i purposely picked this one that didn't really have any new stuff on it at all except maybe that one but it looks like it's struggling quite a bit now on the sod it's pretty much all the same um, it has a lot of dye back in it because it was outside where it was cold it's all cut from the same piece of sod so it all is relatively similar. Last thing I wanted to show you guys is where I'm going to be keeping this experiment up in an upper room. Um, that's uh, southwest facing, so it gets a good amount of sun. And so you can see that they all get pretty much the same amount of sunlight um, throughout the days. And I also wanted to mention too, um, these, uh, clear planter boxes came in these, uh, cardboard boxes. And so I cut off the tops and the bottoms and I'm going to be basically just keeping them covered. Um, cause I don't want any sunlight, um, or UV rays getting to the root zone of the plants. And also I don't want any algae, uh, to be growing on the sides and the soil where it's getting sunlight. So anyway, stay tuned for uh, future videos. Um, I'm gonna show the results here, what it's been looking like here in a couple weeks or so. And this is Joshua signing out.